how do I get across this big gap though? Please do not tell me I would have to go all the way around. Cause that would be a pain in the butt. How the heck am I meant to get across here? Am I missing something? I think I am. At least I don't feel as if I am. There's a bridge down there, but that's not going to help me any. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you what did you want this from a new location? That doesn't help with the current predicament that I'm currently in. Yeah, well. I'll figure it out a bit. Now for right now, let's go say hello. Hey, she's taller. Okay. Then the intrusion probably took her to leave. Mistress Krill have also been delivered onto their care, serving as a conduit for Hydaelyn's power has taken its toll, but she will receive recover in due course. Uh, okay. Well, we used to be rushed to your aid. Good. Hello, Mr. Watcher. with this place. It has ever been my duty to keep vigil on the Zodiac, or rather it was my duty. Yeah, you can't keep watch over someone that's dead. Well, you can, but not as, not, not as fun.
fuck, eh? Let's go. You all go. You go have a sit down. I don't doubt you need it after however many millennia you've used standing up. Bismuth. spin that one just flicks out the thing I got bago to the higher floors Let's start with this one. Ancient knowledge is that it floats through your mind. Do this from her. No, I'm not Martin. The impact of the gun is that imprisonment. What's this one say? The record describes how, with each rejoining, Zodiac's thirst for freedom grew, as did the strain on those brands. Maintaining Zodiac's imprisonment appears to tax Highland greater. Warmly glowing crystal. Knowledge of past rejoinings flows through your mind. The records describe the Watcher's efforts to prepare in the event Zodiac broke free from his prison. The records go on to describe maintenance carried out regularly with the Laporites, though it's not clear who or what they are. Again, the crystal, a record of unexpected physical force in your mind. The records note the watcher's musings with El Elidibus is spotted on the moon, though clearly not the first for the first time. It is clear he and his brethren have a keen interest in freeing Zodiac from his prison, and yet they have made no attempt to destroy the brands. Perhaps they prefer he remain hidden from mortal eyes until the final rejoining? Perhaps they realise he would never dare bring harm to Zodiac so long as he remains imprisoned. <laughs> Won't really much change until recently uh, there was a bunch of people and they wanted to keep him hidden but not. So, it is really suspected maintaining the brands requires a great deal of her energy and focus, and this cost has grown higher with every rejoining. That would explain why contact with us become rather infrequent since the several um, the seventh umbral calamity. I do made a rather startling discovery: the heavenly body we know to be the moon was in fact created by Highland. When the Watcher said he was created together with this place, I thought he only meant this facility. 
drill hammers piled are far beyond anything I could have imagined. No idea. It is we who should thank you. The records stored here are nothing short of extraordinary. There is much we could learn of Zodiac and his imprisonment. But perhaps you could offer us more focused guidance. Pray, tell us of the calamity that came before and comes now again. Spooky face. Spooky face. One day from within the earth, terrible cry is from far, affecting a profound change in a man of life. We are not exempt our creation, but it can rampant, given shape, and form to thoughts of hopelessness and despair. At first, the phenomena was limited to a single region, but quickly so very quickly it spread and engulfed the whole of the star. Were the ancients ever able to deduce its source? They were not, however, the conv convocation struck upon a method to predict where the next where the next the corruption would manifest. Which fall through all the creation in the form of various currents. Currents which course through the land and the seas. Those which flow through the very air. And those of a celestial nature which encompass both our star and this moon. Celestial curves. I cannot say I am familiar with the concept. Nor would I expect you to be a few scores of our time nor their existence. Their invaluable knowledge helped us better understand the nature of this calamity. Like the terrestrial ones of Earth and Air, the celestial currents from a vast network, but the ethereal distribution is not constant. The convocation soon realised that the inciting incidents occurred in regions where the flaw was weakest. The correlation would, without clear cause, ultimately, nevertheless, on closer study, a stagnancy of aether was observed in nearby currents. And so they sought a means to harness the forces of darkness, of activity and growth. Thus was Zodiac conceived. No less a power than a god's could set right the laws of nature and quicken the flow of ether within the star. Firstly, with the advent of Zodia, our end was averted.
Emmett Selk claimed that those who summoned Hydaelyn did so because they saw Zodiac's power as a threat. Is that true? Indeed. There was a faction opposed to Zodiac's creation, but their aim was n never to unmake him. I understand they, the continued preservation of the natural order was dependent on his very existence. Until, they, until we could identify and address the underlying cause of the final days, he would need to remain. F for his departure would set in motion those apocalyptic forces once more. Heidelin recognised this as well, and so, rather than destroy, she sundered Zodiac herself and the star into lesser reflections that she might confine him in this place. Then, what she told me in the ethereal sea was false? That the two once dwelled as one until Zodiac grew hungry for power, upsetting the balance twixt them. Not quite a lie, though a rather gross embellishment. But knowing that you, what you now know, you must surely realise why she might opt to obfuscate and mislead. Ah, why? Uh, Hydaelyn and Zodiac are both constructs of fun, approximations of perfection limited by our own imperfections. Zodiac was, without question, the more powerful of the two, having been born from the sacrifice of half Etheria's population. Thus was it necessary for Hylian to commit herself wholly to his defeat. Still, more effort was needed to confine him. Maintaining the brand taxed her greatly with what power she dared spare. She cried out she cried out to any who might listen, and offered her blessing to those who need heeded her call. Though it was likely within her power to do so, I believe she did not wish to speak to Aetherius and her history. Like Zodiac, Highland's purpose is a reflection of her creators. They wish to look to the future and not linger in a prison of the past. The Asians set in motion seven rejoinings before we came to oppose them. How many more worlds would have been lost had we not placed our faith in her? How many more souls living in the present would have been snuffed out for the sake of those long dead? Well... In light of recent events, I see no reason to doubt your word. And even if Hydaelyn is not a god in truth, if Minfilia believes that we should trust in her plans, then I choose to do just that. Okay. Which brings me to a rather important question. Let's suppose we try but fail to stop this second coming of the final days. What will happen? Should the source fall, what will become of the other worlds? The Norman culture is more fitting than you know. Bring ruin to the source and its reflection will share its fate. So in other words, if this place goes bye bye, the rest of them do too. When did that appear? Yes, but what if? Helen knew better than any that her power was not absolute. Indeed, 
she has ever struggled to hold Zodiac in his fateful at bay. The f she feared the worst and so made preparations in the event of his demise there sh would be a contingency. The moon is more of more than a prison, it's a vessel capable of bearing the people of Atheris to safe harbour. So it's sort of like an ark. You, you need not go far to find its pilots. In fact, I should be able to take it to them and fulfil my final duty as watcher in the dark. The Gorma, so too did she create Argos to use the guard. At this stage, it will appear when needed, and yet it is nowhere to be found. Strange, my heart skin bounce of Earth has affected him. Let's make a crushing band. Let's make, the th let's make for the crushing brand and attempt to call upon him there. You need but recall the path you walked with Argos before, and you will find your way. I don't remember that. I think I came this way. Look at all. 